All right, guys. Now you saw my order of the worst mythics all the way up to the best mythics. And now in this video, I kind of want to talk about why I put units in certain positions. So let's start here with the first one being number 10 the large firework guys so this is actually one of the new units from the new year's event here it was actually in the uh the crate there so yeah guys this unit is honestly really really bad because if you guys check this out he's a 0.1 percent and when you use this guy like in any of the matches sometimes his fireworks like bug out and just don't work and sometimes he stops shooting you guys saw that in one of my previous videos and also if i just go uh, search him up here as you can see he only does 10,000 dps guys at 35 range i know it's splash damage but like i said before sometimes it doesn't work and then it doesn't do like anything so this unit is just complete garbage they need to at least buff him up to 20,000 dps and if they don't do that at least give him some slowdown ability if they don't do that he's gonna stay number 10 for a very 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 long time now before i talk about the number nine unit which was the titan cinema man and why i put him there i am actually doing something very special for all of my awesome viewers including you who's listening right now so guys at 400,000 subscribers i'm going to be giving away a signed godly unit and if you would like to enter that giveaway all you got to do is leave a like on this video smash that subscribe button and of course leave a comment with your roblox username and what godly you want if you were the winner once you guys do those couple things head on over to my website ltcrazy.com there's going to be a link in the pinned comment and then i'll show you guys what to do next once you're on my website scroll down and click the giveaways button and once this page loads up guys scroll down a little bit more and right here on your screen you'll find the sign godly giveaway there's four ways to enter do all four for the best shot at winning and also guys when you're on my website go up to the toilet tower defense page because on this page i got the accurate value of all the units in the game and last night I actually just added all of the brand new New Year's units. So make sure you guys use this so you don't get scammed. Happy trading and let's get back to the video. All right, guys. So I put the Titan Cinema Man in the ninth position just because he's pretty expensive to place down and upgrade and he really doesn't do too much damage. However, on the bright side, the only thing that he's got going for him is he is a good AoE unit. It's just like I said, there's way better options later, you know, on this list. So in number eight spot we got the uts this unit's very similar to the utc however it's a little bit weaker but on the bright side i guess it's a little bit cheaper to place down but it's just not that good so that's why it's an eight spot now for number seven here we got the glitch this is one of those units that's actually kind of weird i'm gonna just uh, kind of pull them up right now and just kind of show you guys because i want you to see so he does 12,500 damage, which is a little bit better than the UTS. That's why he got a little spot, uh, you know, a little bit higher here. But his range is, is pretty bad. Cooldown pretty bad. Now, his starting thing, though, is good because he's only costing you $500 to place down, which is pretty nice. However, after one or two upgrades, he's going to be very, very expensive. And that's kind of what sets him back and holds him back for, uh, you know, being a really, really OP unit. And something that I don't like about this unit is actually his animation. I think it looks pretty bad and it's annoying and it sometimes gives me a headache. I'm sure it's given you guys a headache in the past too. But our next unit here on the list is going to be the UPC. So this guy, this big bad man right here, boys. The upgraded Titan Cameraman. This at one point used to be the best unit in the game. And I'm not going to lie, it's still a pretty darn good unit. I'm seriously, I'm not going to lie, guys. So first thing that we got going here damage goes up to 2000 which is really good cooldown down to 0.1 he attacks pretty darn quick guys not even kidding dps 20 thousand damage per second which is absolutely absurd and he has insane range 60 range guys that's really good and also guess what he's aoe i know that's crazy he's actually so good because that aoe plus all that single target damage this is a really good unit however there are some things that are slightly better and you're gonna find out soon so coming in oh actually i just want to say one more thing about this guy this was the first ever mythic i've ever gotten what is your first mythic that you got guys i'm just kind of curious but yeah i just wanted to throw that in there a little fun fact for the lt crazy lore that was the first mythic i've ever pulled and uh yeah pretty cool but let's go on to the number five guy now this one is maybe gonna be surprising to you maybe not but the large laser cameraman so he has a little bit less dps than the utc however the good thing about this guy is he only costs 450 dollars to put down and i used them in a video pretty recently he got me all the way to uh, level 48 
on the uh, North Pole. Now, I think that if I used the UTC, I probably could have beaten it. But why is this guy above the UTC? Well, this is a starter mythic. And he does a mighty fine job being a starter mythic, guys. Because if you compare this guy and, like, throw in, like, let's say... I don't know. Maybe the UTC, the upgraded one, though. That's, like, the godly. You know, the, uh, the upgraded Titan Cinema Man. That one, I better say the full name so you guys don't get confused. Because they're both called the UTC. But, yeah, the upgraded Titan Camera Man. If you throw... Or Cinema Man. If you throw him in there and you got this guy as your starter unit, well, you're going to win every single match, guys. Because this dude can literally clear waves 1 to 30 easily. And then you use your godlies and you're set for the rest of the game. So, really good starting unit. Whereas the UTC costs $1,500 to place down. And you're not going to get him down until later rounds. So, this is a really good starter guy. Okay? Hopefully, that makes sense. Now, the next unit up on our list here is the Corrupt Cameraman. This guy's in fourth place because, well, number one, he does 25,000 damage per second. That's good. He also could deflect a few stuns. But what really sets this guy back from being really, 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 really OP is his range. Only 50. Not that good. Second of all, single target only. No AoE. That is going to set back any unit. What does help this guy out a little bit more, though, is he does have one of the highest DPSs for all these units. However, like I said, that, you know, that the fact that he's not AoE does kind of hurt him a little bit. But also, he's the rarest unit in the game. There's only 8,000 of these guys that exist. So if you have one, you should be pretty darn happy because they are super, super duper rare. I'm not even kidding, guys. Now, the next unit here, I don't know if you guys saw this coming or not, but it's going to be the Santa TV, guys. This dude... I know some of you maybe thought I was going to put this guy dead last because he's just like a, a farmer unit. But no, how could I do that? This guy is the new best farmer in the game until something's better than him. This is the best, you know, one of the best mythics in the game right now. Seriously, number three. They got two other ones that are a little bit better than him. But like, for real, if you get three of these down, max them out, you're getting an extra $6,000 per wave. That's so good. And look at how many I have. If any of you guys need one, let me know. Maybe I'll give one away to you guys, okay? Hope we'll just uh, look through the comments to see if anyone really needs one. Just make sure you leave your username so that I know. But uh, yeah, guys, like I know Joe can have like almost 10 of them. And you know, they're really good. And you know, there's 8 million that exist. So I'm sure you guys probably have multiple too. But anyways, let's get to the number two unit. There's really not much to say about him. I just highly recommend you always have this guy on your team. Like every match you play, this guy is going to be on your squad. There's no reason not to, right? But uh, the next unit that I got here is in the second spot. It's the Chef TV. Now, this guy is probably one of the most underrated units in the game. If I ever make an underrated list, this dude is going to be on it. And I'm not even kidding because people hate this guy for no reason. He was like one of the first ever splash units. So that means it's basically AoE. There's really no difference. I don't know why they have... I, mean, I guess I get the difference, but it's kind of the same thing. AoE, splash, same thing. They both do damage to multiple enemies. It's just that this guy, he throws pizzas that explode. If they're in the radius of the explosion, they get damage. So kind of AoE, you know, area of effect, explosion. It's an area of effect ability. So same thing. I don't know why they're two different things. But anyways, this guy's good because he does 16,000 DPS. That's not as much as the corrupt, right? But the best thing about this dude is he slows enemies down. And also, he's pretty rare, which makes him cool. There's only 51,000 of these guys that exist. That's a pretty cool find. If you ever get one, just, uh, you know, or if you ever want one, just get ready to hand out a bunch of godlies or mythics because people are not going to trade these very easily to you. But I'm sure you could get one if you really look hard enough. Oh, we look at that, guys. We just got a new crate. So, yeah, this is definitely my number two unit. My uh, one of my all time favorites. I'm not even joking, guys. If you've never tried them out before, try to trade for them, try to get them. You're going to be very happy. I even have two, so I got super lucky on getting two. But our number one unit here, I don't know if you guys could have guessed it yet, but it is the Sinister Titan, if I could spell it correctly, TV Man. This guy, boys and girls, is unbelievable. Probably the best unit in the game right now. I know you may be thinking I'm crazy by saying that because the Godly does 71,000 damage and this one only does 60,000, but it's a little bit cheaper. So it's awesome and it was super easy to get. That's why there's 648,000 that exist right now. So all of you guys watching this video probably have one. And if you didn't, well, you missed out because I made a video explaining how to easily get them without even spending any Roblox. I showed you guys how to complete the battle pass so many different times. And I hope that you took those uh, videos, you know, to heart and actually did the challenges and got the job done. Because if you have this unit now, you're set for the rest of the game. This is all you needed. 
I'm not sure why they made them so OP, but they did, and that's awesome because now all the noobs that get scouted into the game during Christmas time, you guys can be able to beat every single new map that comes to the game just fine, or at least put up a good fight. Damage, 12,000. Range, 45. Not the best range, but I'll explain why it doesn't matter soon. Cooldown is 0.2, so it's, it's decent. DPS, 60,000. Amazing second best DPS in the game right now. But what's really, really good about this guy, you see that big blue scythe that he's holding? That does a lot of damage to the enemies, guys. It does a ton. If you get hit by that, you're dead. And that's why that dude is number one. So hopefully my list makes sense to you guys. I hope that I explained those pretty correctly there. And I think that you guys are probably going to agree with me. If you don't, please feel free to leave a comment letting me know why I am wrong and why you are right and like why you have certain units in certain positions. But I definitely think those top three are correct. If I'm wrong, seriously, though, like let me know. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I think that that's uh, the perfect mythic tier list. So, yeah, just let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. And if you like this type of video, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. All those great things. It really does help the videos out in the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. And, guys, we're like less than a 1,000 subs away from 400K. So, if we hit that today or tomorrow, that would be absolutely insane and thank you guys so much for all the support these last couple months it's been a journey guys but the journey doesn't end here we're on the road to 500k as soon as we hit 400k so let's do that and then let's get after all right the grind don't stop grind don't stop 600k by the end of the year yeah can we do that i think we could guys let's do it 600k by the end of the year 500k by summer all right let's do it let's do it guys we got this all right hopefully all of you have a great day great night wherever it is for you right now when you watch this video and if you want to watch another epic video of mine check out the one on your screen right now where i tell you why some of the units in the game absolutely suck like the spider tv and some of the other rare units all right i'll see you guys on over there adios